Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel, The Unplanned Life. Today is the first day of the year 2021 and it's a rainy day. It's been raining since yesterday because of the tail end of the cold front that we have been having lately and the rains will persist way into tomorrow. I'm not feeling well and I actually have the sniffles so I have been nesting since yesterday in my bedroom that's darkened by heavy curtains. Anyway, since it is a Friday, I am going to set up my weekly pages for January 4 to 10 and I hope you can join me. In order to get better lighting to film this video, I decided to open up my curtains. By the way, I use this clamp to put my iPhone on when filming my videos, which is exactly the right height to show the full notebook. But if I want to film a larger area of the table, I place my phone on top of this light stand right here. I made this light stand myself and I will leave the link to the video in the description box. Here are my pages for this current week. And as you can see, the week started out okay. The first three days were productive, but yesterday wasn't too good, and today I actually have a cold. But I will still try to do the lighter tasks so the day won't be a total waste, and so I can check them off on the list for today. And the tasks that I can do today includes this plan with me video. Now I'm very close to moving out of this notebook. I have only 8 sheets left, that's 16 pages back to back, so I am making my weekly pages in this new catch-all notebook. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I will move into this new catch-all notebook on January 4, which is a Monday, and that is significant for me because I have always planned with a Monday start format ever since I started making my own planner pages in the year 2013. So I already wrote in the start date for this new notebook on the title page. This ink that I am using is Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. It's not a very dark ink, but the shading is phenomenal and I love it. I have a video of me setting up this new notebook and I will link it in the description box. I already have the January monthly calendar on here. I made a video of me setting this up and I will link it below. As you can see, only January 4 to 31 are on this calendar because those are the relevant dates for January when I move completely into this notebook. And here are the pages that I have reserved for the weekly pages when I set up this new catch-all. I have already folded the center sheet in half, as you can see, <laughs> because I wanted to make sure that I don't forget that these pages are reserved for the weekly pages. And the tab is already on there, so all I had to do was write down the week on it. And then as usual, I used the folded center sheet to set the center line on the other pages so that everything would line up. As for the washi tape for this week, I have decided to use these two washi tapes right here. They are two different washi tape rolls, but they look very similar, so I think they were taken from the same painting, very close together, and I will use these two rolls alternately in the pages that I am going to be setting up. After the washi tape, as usual, comes the pre-printed date headers that I just glue onto the appropriate location and then also the time stamps. And the next step is to go on my computer to see who are celebrating their milestones for this week and I wrote them down on the appropriate page. The pen that I am using for this is the Wing Sung 698, which is loaded with diamine graphite. This is one of my favorite inks, but I have since gifted the bottle to my dad. I just take some from his bottle when I need to. And now it is time to plan. First, I write in my morning pages for 7 to 8 a.m. and my bedtime routine for 10 to 11 p.m. Those are the non-negotiables for me and I try my best to do them all on the scheduled time unless and only unless there is a more critical task to do that cannot be rescheduled or moved to a different time 
or something that cannot be done by someone else. And then I referred to my January calendar, first of all, because some of the dated tasks are already on there. Monday is a day for a few errands, just some light errands, and I do have those lab tests on the 8th, and I have voice class on Thursday for one and a half hours. I also refer to my weekly pages for this current week to see what I have not yet done and could still do for the next few days before the week ends, and what I could migrate to the coming week. I do not obsess about not being able to do all of the tasks that I have set out to do for the week. I don't, I don't crucify myself if I have not done them all and have to migrate them to a different week. I did not note down the notebook schedule to be done each day because first I have to see what notebooks I end up finishing and mailing out this week. I'll fill in the notebook making schedule next week. I also referred to my running to-do list to see what tasks can be done for the coming week and decided on a few of them. Whenever I am done with a task, I check them off on the to-do list as well as on the weekly pages. There was also one video for this week that for some reason I decided to move to a future unspecified date, but I decided to undo the rescheduling of that so I merely erased the mark that I made and that's why I love writing on my weekly pages with a pencil. And that's really how I plan for the incoming week. The process doesn't vary much from week to week but I still like making videos of this because it has started to become like a ritual for me. After my morning pages on Friday I do the weekly pages while finishing up my morning tea. I create the weekly pages for the incoming week by doing the um, the Cindy Gwenter Waldo fold <laughs> and then laying down the washi tapes and then doing uh, gluing down the pre-printed date headers and the timestamps and then proceed to plan for that incoming week. That is one of my Friday morning rituals. But it started late today by the way, because I could not sleep on time last night due to all of the fireworks noise from last night. One final step that I didn't do at the moment was to place tiny strips of black washi tape next to the tasks that would require me to leave the house. I decided to do that later today or on a later day because I really just wanted to get back to bed. It's a little bit cold and on days when I am sick, I do not like the wet weather, although I normally like rainy days. I'm a rainy day girl. I love rainy days, but not all the time. And I have the sniffles, like I said, and it's kind of been a rough couple of weeks for me health-wise. By the way, if you're, if you're hearing that noise, that's the neighbor's dog again. I'm sure I'm not the only YouTuber who has fallen victim to undisciplined dogs. So because I wanted to go back to bed, I closed the curtains again because I like my room dark. Note that these curtains have the 2021 Pantone colors on them, ultimate gray and illuminating, which is a shade of yellow. They're not the exact gray and exact yellow, but the same colorway nonetheless. I made these curtains in November 2018, and the video of the, that curtain making process will be linked below. I like coming across coincidences like these, so I thought I'd mention it here. And this is the light stand that I use when I am filming videos and when I am making the notebooks. I also want to show you my new water bottle which I like very much. It has markings on here for the volume. It can hold up to 550 milliliters and even more because there's space beyond the 550 milliliter mark as you can see but I always only fill it up to the 500 milliliter mark so it will be easy for me to track if I have taken in two liters of water a day which is the goal.
It has a hinged cover but no straw. My dentist, Freya Raniola, advised against using a straw all the time because our teeth and entire mouth has to be fully hydrated with water as much as possible and as often as possible because saliva is acidic and water combats that which is good for the health of the teeth. And then in the bedroom that is now dark, I just turn on this lamp with the soft warm light, which is what I use when writing my morning page this and my nighttime journal. And then I turn off this super extra white light, white light LED light stand. And that's how I like my room to be on most days, especially when I'm not feeling well. That is my bed. And it's messy because I didn't make it up when I got out of it knowing I'll be in bed all day anyway. I like a messy bed. I bring everything into it. My bag is already on there, my little reading stand, my reading lamp, and I'll bring my water bottle there and my current notebook and all of the pens. I hope you're all well today, unlike me. <laughs> Please stay safe from the coronavirus. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.